Hello lovelies! Right, today I'm coming from, to you from my art room from my house in beautiful West Sussex, South England and I thought today I would take a little bit of a different stance to what my usual content is on my channel which has been studying Ayurveda in India etc and um, take you down the art route. So I wanted to show you some examples of some artwork I've done lately and the reason why I switched from one art material to another. So hang on in there and we'll go through it. Right, okay, so in 2020, just as my fledgling therapy business was beginning to rise, COVID hit and we couldn't touch anyone. So that was a massive disappointment. And during 2020, I had to think, what can I draw on to occupy myself in this lockdown and to deal with my poor mental health? And I drew on my artistic talents. Now, my whole family are artists. My mum, my dad, my sisters, my brother, we can all really, really draw. So it was a natural thing that obviously, you know, me and my sisters were going to get bored and be able to draw. So I grabbed my creativity side my creative side and started to do, um, I started to have a look at pet portraits, drawing animals with pastels. Now I had some pastels that my dad had given me a long time ago and they were, bless his heart, pretty rubbish to be honest. He'd just given me a pack of pastels, they, you know, no professional packet or anything. It was just play around pastel blocks, soft pastels. And I had, so I decided to have a go with them and I don't even, I didn't even use pastel paper or anything and I made a cat. And that cat was, received quite a lot of um, compliments actually online. So I decided to give it another go and I painted my brother and sister-in-law a picture of their Dachshund dog uh, poppy. Again, I so by this time I'd bought the proper paper, and um, right, so I wanted to just uh, well, I'll show you in a sec, but I bought the, the proper paper and some very nice pencils, uh, pastel pencils, and so I felt like I was on my way. But the pastels that I had were holding me back, and because they were too soft. Now, um, let me explain, right? So, pastel matte paper, Claire Fontaine pastel matte paper comes in this size which is 30 by 40 centimeters and it comes in all different colors you've got oh my god you've got let's come away from it see, but it's got grays and tans and colors for the background and and, and uh and it's covered in this glassy and protective paper for your pastels so and this pastel paper has a tooth on it and so it's you can smooth the pastels into the tooth just lightly and this gives a nice scope for pastel pencils so the fur detail etc on an animal to show up really well um, these are the pencils excuse me I bought these ones although there are many different types out there very very good professional ones but I chose Faber Castell pack of 60 Pit pastel pencils and oh my gosh the 60 they come in well half of it's missing well it's not missing it's underneath and I've just used a lot um but they come in all sorts of colors all shades all through the whole art spectrum and they're a joy to own um so anyway so I had the proper paper I had the pencils but I was still trying to work on these with these rubbish dusty chalky pastels so that when I laid down the chalk when I laid down the pastels it was taking up all the tooth of that paper there was no room anymore for the pastel pencils to create fur so I wasn't pleased with the results however I went on to make two to paint two more cats um for uh, a draw of a charity draw for Africa and for a, for a charity in Africa and I donated them to the winners and um and then in late 2020, when lockdown finished here in England for a while, 
Um, I went to visit my mum in North Devon finally and whilst I was there sleeping in my camper car um, I met a lovely guy called Mike who was in his big camper van and his boxer dog Len who was beautiful and who had the most gorgeous colourings and and of course because I just finished doing the cats I was a little bit obsessed with pet fur so I was really focusing in and honing in on what that looked like anyway I took some photos and I said to Len should I ever so I said to Mike sorry the owner should I ever get round to drawing Len I will let you know and you can choose whether you want to buy it or but, but anyway, he said, no, no, that's absolutely fine. And so I took loads of pictures, came home, started on the forehead of Len. And I wasn't pleased. I just couldn't continue because of those pastels. It was so frustrating. They took up the tooth of the paper immediately. And I just did not, I just could not lay down the fur um, on his head. And I kind of gave up. Anyway, 28th of March this year, this is now the, I think, 29th of April. So, yeah, well, it was yeah, just over a month ago, I broke my leg. And I couldn't do a lot of the tasks that I normally do. And so I was forced to sit. Um, and I'm not used to that. But anyway, while I was sitting, I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to dig that back out again and have another go. And because I was saving money, it was still frustrating to do it with those pastels, but I was persevering. Meanwhile, I'd picked up watching videos again of how it looked like, you know, like tutorials and was really fired up. And I just thought, sod it, you know, I'm not wasting, I'm not spending money on petrol, diesel for my car going out and about here and there. I'm not spending my money on coffees when I'm out or different, doing different things. So I had the money and I bought um, beautiful... Um, oh, where are they? Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Pan pastels. I treated myself. Now... For the full set of 500, sorry, the full set of 80, it's over 500 pound. But this is a set of 10 and it came with soft tools as well, which are S-O-F-F-T. It's a make, it's a brand and they're expensive, but they help you, they're sponges and they help you apply these pastels properly. Well, anyway, these pastels, what a difference the pan pastels make to my art. So... You can see they're quite large. They take, you know, they're quite large. And I just bought this pack of wildlife pack of 10. Um, Pan Pastels collaborated with Jason Morgan, who is a fantastic wildlife artist. Find him on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. He's phenomenal. And he's been such a great source of inspiration and tutoring for me. Um, but anyway, he collaborated with Pan Pastels and he, and he, came up with these 10 colours for wildlife. So I treated myself, I got them. And what's so fantastic about them is that you can get some, put it on paper, mix it around. And um, I think I might even have an example here. Looks like a hot mess, but it wasn't when I was painting. So you can put it on there and add another colour, add another colour and mix it around like you would with paint and then apply that to your pastel mat paper, your pastel paper and you can just put it on smoothly, it's beautiful, um, yeah, so and then and then of course the pencils lay so crisp and well over the top, they don't blend in, they just, they're just perfect, it's all perfect. So. Now down to the art I'd like to show you. So this is Len. This is the boxer whom I persevered with, with the old, not so good quality pastels, but with the pencils. And this is on the Claire Fontaine pastel paper. As you can see, I've tried to get his fur to be defined and it's not very defined. Then this, and I'll show you the difference, although Lynn is lovely and I am very, very happy with it. This is my 
latest portrait and this I got from the internet from another guy Seamus Art YouTube link down below I signed up to his Patreon for one month and got and, and took this art tutorial and I kind of made it up as I went along anyway because it comes quite naturally to me anyway but um, now you can see the difference can you see how that fur how defined I can get that fur look you can see the hairs on his on his ears and even the tiny little hairs around here so yeah that's what that's what that result is like compared to the other pastels I was using. So I highly recommend, well, I mean, there's lots and lots of amazing pastels out there, but I haven't got experience of them. I can only tell you what I know. So I can tell you that pan pastels are working for me and I'm going to gradually, when finances allow, um, get more of them. And so, yeah, if you fancy... I don't know, there's, I've seen this thing on YouTube where it's buy me a coffee. I might add buy me a coffee or something like that. If you would like to see more art like this, I'm going to start making art videos, by the way, as well. Then you can donate, buy me a coffee or whatever, and I will put that completely towards different equipment, some more pan pastels, um, some better lighting other than this tube lighting I've got this this weird lighting I've got there I hope that hasn't ruined the video and um yeah so and then I can create more content for you because I'm not going anywhere I'm 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 staying at home and I'm doing art so that is going to be quite a theme of my channel uh, amongst other things you know I'm a girl of many talents so anyway thank you for listening I hope you like the pictures Len and apparently this guy is called Monty, Len and Monty. So from Len and Monty and myself, thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye.